so hello and welcome to another one of a demonics review um necessarily this one's on campaign and necessarily what was said about black ops 3 and rainbow siege uh, necessarily just some rainbow siege gameplay here nothing too special but nestle what ha was reported is that rainbow six siege is um only multiplayer it's only a multi-player multiplayer focused game which is kind of a i mean it's not a guarantee it's not a guarantee don't buy um it definitely is some type of it is type of disappointing considering it's a six dollar game um i definitely have to see more about what the game's offering with its modes and, and game modes and you know how long can I play until I actually get bored and you know what's going to be new that's added on um could, only you know only Call of Duty can you know sell like a multiplayer only game and still get tons of tons and tons of sales and everything like that despite people you know do actually do play for story and everything like that at least I do and you know of course you know there's gonna be zombies and everything like this but Rainbow Siege I'm not entirely sure if they will be able to get away or make just as much money with it just being a multiplayer only focused game but i'm you know definitely waiting to see what they do though and then we have also black ops 3 won't have a campaign or story campaign for the PlayStation 3 and 360 versions, which is something I'm kind of expecting eventually because uh, sooner or later they're going to stop making games for the PS3 and the 360 versions, stuff like that. And it's just going to be, oh my god, my aim sucks. And it's just a matter of time before they do it, and that's what I figured would happen eventually so I'm obviously going to assume that the next uh, Call of Duty game is going to only be for the PS4 and Xbox One and PC because they're able to handle everything in the game and honestly for me it doesn't really affect me considering I have a PS4 but I can totally understand people who are on the 360 and PlayStation 3 game and not necessarily getting a full campaign. Sorry about this. I think this I was looking at something. They reduced the price to fifty dollars instead of it being sixty dollars because of the campaign. And I mean, yes, it's going to opt out a few people. I'm pretty sure majority of the people who play call. Uh, who play Call of Duty only play for multiplayer, so it's not that much of a big deal. <clears throat> yeah, it does suck for the people who actually do play the campaign, like myself, if I didn't have a PS4, that would suck. I probably would still get the game anyway, and then when I had the money, I would, you know, buy the PS4, and of course. But that's necessarily my input. Um, I will definitely have the links to, you know, X I C X M dot net and IGN for necessarily those respected articles. Over you no know, overall I am Rainbow Six Siege is new IP, so you know, maybe they're trying something new. It's not like a previous entry. So who knows, they may work, it may not. I'm you know, still iffy on buying the game myself. Uh, I s even though it's a new IP plus it's Ubersoft, and we all know how they work. Oh god. So, I'm gonna have to wait until release to see what's going on with that game, see just how many game modes they're offering, and see if that really makes up for not having a uh, campaign. Call of Duty, once again, sucks if you do have last gen, but you know, there's probably a time when you should upgrade. Um, and that time's probably now. But at the same time, most one, one, once again, the main reason why the game sells so much is because of multiplayer. So people are kind of overreacting. But once again, I can kind of understand. But at least it's not a full $60 game. So 
I mean, it's ten dollars, but you know how how much do you actually spend playing the single player? Like, really? Like, realistically, how often do you actually play? Like, how much? So, ah, sorry, I'm, I don't know why, fucking like sickness or whatever. But Nestle was my input on Nestle the games with campaign because that's apparently the new thing. Um, Evolve didn't have a campaign, or it did, but it was complete. Yeah, Star Wars Battlefront's not having a campaign, which I'm still iffy on there. Uh, I mean, I'm probably gonna get the game because of Star Wars, but once again, I'm still gonna wait until you know the game's released and everything like that to see our reviews and see how it is titanfall didn't have a campaign we all know how that went but that's necessarily my input um i do want to thank you for watching and um you witches wizards sorcerers shamans and all those magical beans monic out